Pat Kilroy was 81 when she became her husband's carer. Les was diagnosed with dementia two years ago. What started with a forgotten PIN number escalated quickly and meant within weeks one of his lifetime passions, driving, had been taken away from him by doctors. He's broke his heart. He has never really got over the fact that the car had to go. And it went then and there because, um, you know, we didn't have any much choice. Uh, so uh, that was very sad. It was almost, well, it was a bereavement to him. He, he, lost, or he lost something that was like a, a, a bereavement. And he's still sort of grieving, if you could say. Pat and Les are part of Wyndham's growing Pabulum Cafe, which is this week marking Dementia Awareness Week. Usually a purely social support meeting for carers and those with the condition, it's teamed up with local group The Slow Theatre Company to put on a week-long exhibition at Norwich Library. I Am Here includes crafts made by members and stories from the diaries of carers. There is more knowledge now about dementia, but there are still a lot of people who don't understand how to cope with somebody who has dementia and just out in the street or in the shops I think we're very lucky in Wyndham a lot of shops have become dementia friendly we all as volunteers that have become dementia friends we have lots of training and it's amazing just the small things you can do to help somebody who is living with dementia. The centrepiece of the week-long exhibition is this crochet forget-me-not sculpture. 60 people associated with the Pabulum Cafe have been involved in making the two hands, with 18,000 flowers, each one representing someone living with dementia in Norfolk. Artistic director Danny O'Hara says being involved has taught her a lot. The exhibition should be able to show and to highlight what's it like to be a carer today. I think it's really important because there's a great deal of people that both do not know anything about dementia or are quite frightened of it. Um, and actually, living with dementia is exactly that. You're living with it. Your, your life's not over and there's nothing to fear if you, if you met somebody who, who's living with dementia. A campaign to make Norwich a dementia-friendly city has currently got more than 50 organisations signed up, with the University of East Anglia the latest name on the list. Alongside the sculpture, this week's exhibition at Norwich Library will also feature performances about the life of a carer, as well as a Q&A session with experts, all to give those trying to tackle the growing issue a helping hand. Lauren Du Bois, Mustard TV, Norwich.